Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 16 of the service portal training. So in this day, we'll talk about that widget embedded. So what does it mean by widget embedded? We'll discuss that first and then we'll discuss further. In our last video, we talked about that broadcast. So how we can communicate that. So we are going to utilize this two widget uh, in today's class also. So let's understand one more time. Um, what is the widget embedded? So basically, uh, if I go back to uh, my documentation, widget m if i open this one and then click the um show customization we do have the two widgets left side and right side two widgets are there so let's say that in using the widget embedded i can call particular any of these particular widgets uh, without uh, dragging that widget to here okay so let's understand that first quickly and then we'll discuss the further so I'm not going to uh, drag that particular widget here, but using the script, I can call that uh, particular widget and I can attach to this particular widget. Let's see that. I'll simply click this uh, uh, widget editor. So there are four uh, way we can edit or we can attach um, particular widget to our um, widget. So let's say that this is my widget called broadcast to. I can simply call any other widget uh, in this widget so that that widget can be displayed here now the question can be came up in your mind that why do we need that so there are various situation um, you need uh, this widget embedded we'll come to that point in a bit but uh, today we understand uh, the main concept is that widget embedded how we can call or how we can um, basically like a call or so how we can call or embed a particular widget in the particular another widget so in the broadcast widget we are going to attach uh, the few of the widgets so we'll discuss that so first thing first if you see my documentation so we have the four methods to embedded the widget so we're, depending on that use cases we can attach any of these widget based on our uh, different use cases so first thing first is that direct widget embedded so in the direct widget embedded we don't need to do anything we just need to be add the code into the html site and then using that it automatically embedded that widget so let's say that this is my widget so i'll copy this code and then here i in this widget editor i'll simply paste that so what does it mean by that so we are starting with the widget tag and then id and inside the id we are calling a particular widget so you can call any of this widget so i am calling that widget called widget cool clock which is out of box clock i mean for the demonstration purpose i'm using that and then i need to just save that so this is the simplest way that we can use for widget embedded part so once we save that and refresh that we'll see that these widgets or these images are available or this widgets actually is available now the question is that um you can see that these widgets is not available so this whatever internal we are calling that widgets or uh, will not be available what is doing that this widget that uh, we created call um called broadcast to this widget is calling to this widget so basically you can see that um we can call uh, from one widget to the another widget so this is the one type of widget embedded option we show you the second type widget embedded option is that we can directly embed the widget uh, you know uh, here and then with the a few parameter or the few option so what is option and how the option schema works that we discussed in our earlier video so um, so that's i'm not going to discuss here but um, uh, you know uh, to uh, talk about that widget options in a high level we can pass some parameter and based on the parameter it can work so we just need to be save that and once we save that we can see that uh, this uh, widget will be show with the another widget so basically we are calling two different different widget and you can see they are behaving um, i mean two way we can do that one is the widget directly embedded so you can see this is the direct embedded option without any options and this is the another widget where i mean this is the another way where we can pass the options now we'll talk about that how we can so this is the simplest way we can directly use that but there is a other way so we'll discuss about that so first thing first we can directly embed the widget using the client script and then we can uh, embed the widget into the using the server side script also we'll discuss that so let's say that i am going to uh, you know widget um, 
going to embed this widget for that what do you have to do i have to copy this script and then i'll remove all this for the time being so this is my uh, widget or we can say that this is the uh, the details that i'm going to um, use that and then i need to pass some code into the server side also okay so i'll go back here and then copy this and uh, i mean copy this and paste here okay now let's see that um in this case you can see that we are uh, I'll, I'll see that we created a call list dot widget and then uh, we are doing the dollar sp dot get widget using that dollar sp dot get widget we can particularly get a particular uh, widget and then uh, we can pass some parameter if we want and then uh, based on that it can be uh, embedded here basically in our case we are not passing any parameter so i'll just put that uh, plain um, braces and save that and and refresh that and see what is happening first first thing first we can see that uh, i'm getting an error called list is not defined so what we have to do so what i'll do i'll just replace that list with the data dot widget and then here i mean probably i'll do that list widget and then i'll do this copy the same thing and then paste it. paste here and simply save that and just save that and let's once we save that let's refresh that and let's see what is happening so you can see uh it is showing um you know it is showing some widget but it does not showing some data right to show the data we can just put that uh you know uh, table and then we can say that in second something like that okay so we we are just trying to see the data or we are just trying to see the data from the incident table so we are calling that widget dot data dot table uh, i mean data dot table this widget and this widget is getting binded here and let's see if we refresh that it is working or not and now you can see that we are able to see all this incident um um you know that uh what do we call all this incident right now so this this way we can embed it one widget so let's understand one more time so we have four method the first method we discussed that directly embedded we directly can embed that particular widgets which is called widget cool clock and then we can pass the option and based on that we can embed it there now the third option or the maybe fourth option we are talking about the from the server side we can from the server side we can embed a particular widget for that what we have to do we need to declare a variable called data dot list widget or something like that and then we need to use the dollar dot sp dot get widget and inside that we need to pass the widget name and we need to pass the table name called the incident okay and once we pass this table name called incident this um this widget can be embedded to that we need to embed it to the html for that we need to write that sp slash widgets and then under the widget we need to define that variable name that we have declared here so this is how we can embed it into server side let's uh, put the filter so let's put the filter here for so we'll put that filter and then i will put that the filter condition is state equal to one which is probably the new okay so this way you can pass the particular option so we, you have ability to pass the parameter okay so now we have the count is 81 so it should show me all these um new incident let's see so right now you can see all this uh um incident which is showing the new incident what will be happen let's say that you don't know that which table we should call right what will be happen let's say i'll go back to the page designer here and under this page designer i can directly drag this list widget that we have right like that right but you can see uh, in my case this table name might not be static or this table name might might be depending on so you can see i have to hard code it that table name right which table i need to be query but let's say that in your case if the table name can be derived from the certain condition so in that case we can use um, this 
uh, widget embedded option and then using the server side script we can drag that okay that's the one option we discussed that secondly uh, in this uh, let's say that uh, what will be happen um, when I am going to um, click that in, in progress this filter needs to be updated right so right now the filter is all about that the state is showing that new state all these incident state is new state but when I click the closed only the closed incident should be available nothing else so how do we reach achieve that for that we have options called you know widget embedded uh, through the client script so through the client script how can we embed it that that will do that so that for that we have to in the html we have to define this way so we already define that in the html if you go back and see we already define the sp widget and then widget equal to data dot list widget we already defined that you can see so with sp widget and widget name we already defined now it is high time to write the client script for the client script i'll copy this part and then we need to inject that sp util dependency we already discussed that sp util dependency in our past video so what they are saying that we need to be uh call this uh here for that i'll inject that sp util and here we need to pass the widget name so i'll copy this widget name from here okay I'll copy this uh, widget name here and then here I'll pass this parameter or this value okay so I'll copy and then pass this value all where PRM and this might be uh, the PRM the parameter I'm going to pass that and now here you can see the response we need to be bind with this one so what i'll do i'll put this called c dot data dot list so this way uh whenever uh, i'm going to click that so let's say that um what i'll do here um let's save that first and then i need to modify that our code also i'll put alert here call data so i'll alert this one okay so let's first refresh and see that it won't be work properly but we'll do that so right now whenever this state is um you can see that by default the state is new and then it is rendering all the new state now if we click the in progress but it is showing the in progress but it is not i mean uh i mean for in progress the state is two so we should pass this state equal to true and then here for uh, three we need to pass the state equal to three so you can see it is not working properly so what i'll do i'll go and edit this widget here and this is the another widget that uh, that is going to broadcast that so here i'll pass this value equal to two, two and then three for closed and let's save that and see this refreshing is working or not so right now the state is new and all these are value are showing now if we click in progress the value is 2 so there is no real data change as you can see this is happening so if i open this uh, the broadcast to widget you can see here we hard coded this one so instead of that what we have to do we have to hard code with the data now let's save that and refresh our page here and see what is happening so by default this value is new and then once we click the in progress it is showing that value that we are passing from this widget to this widget is 2 and once we click that you can see that it refresh and it is showing all this in progress uh, data so now if we click the closed so it value is 3 and it is showing only the 7 data which is actually closed so this way we can um, by the way we are doing that broadcasting from left side to the right side widget and then we are embedding that widget so you can see we have a closed we have a in progress and this all this button let's do a little bit more here uh, so we can see i'll copy this button here and then click that say that new so this button will be new and then one and then here i'll say that new so let's understand one more time quickly so we have a widget called broadcast one and we have a widget called broadcast two two widget we do have 
and let let me refresh first tab and show you explain it. so we have a broadcast one broadcast to two widgets so if i click that and then show customization so we have a two widget one is the left side and another is the right side in the left side we have the broadcast one so this is the one widget and then this is the two widget called broadcast two now what will be happen now once we click the new or in progress or closed this value one two three is passing here right once you click the new this can see that i'm getting the alert and this value is passing from this widget to the this widget once we are receiving this value to this widget based on that widget embedded we are embedding our widget so let's understand how we are embedding because in our class embed widget embed is the important factor so we can embed the widget in a four way the very two or first two are very simple just attached to that um, html part now the third or maybe fourth one uh, is that uh, server side so whenever the form is loaded very first time and that moment that uh, server side uh, code is uh, loading and then here we are doing the dollar sp dot get widget and then using that we are passing in the widget name and we are passing the parameter that which widget we are looking for uh, i mean now which table or other parameter we are passing and then this value or the data dot list whatever value it is received that is binding to the html call here sp slash widget here we are binding that so that's the one way so whenever very first thing whenever the page is loaded first time it is rendering with the all the value is the new so this is the how the server side embedded is working now on the left side when i am clicking the new or some other um, value i should change the value or i should reflect the new value right for that what we are doing we are using the client side embedded option in the client side what we have we have mentioned that uh, under this um, broadcast to widget so if we go back to the client side we declared that sp util uh, um, this dependency and using that sp util dependency we are using that sp util dot get and here we are passing the table name and here we are passing the parameter and then once we get the parameter and all those things we are binding with this widget data with this one so we are binding with the response with this data and this parameter value that we are receiving is nothing but receive we are receiving from this um broadcast uh, root scope dot on method so we are whatever value is broadcasting from this uh, widget one we are receiving and then we are we are listening and then based on that we are updating our widget so that's how uh, all these things is working so if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day